Hi guys, this is going to be a very quick video on what you need to do to create this Lego logo for your homework. Now, I've actually created this already, so I'm going to deconstruct it and show you how it was made. In Illustrator, you can use layers. They're not exactly like they are in Photoshop, but we have a system of layers in Illustrator. Now, I've created this logo so that the white logo sits on one layer over the top of the black outline over the top of the yellow outline and then there's a red box and registered trademark sitting on the same layer. So underneath that I have a template layer that I have actually used to construct this artwork above it. Now I'm going to show you from scratch how I started this Lego logo. You can work over the top of your exercise 4 template just zoom right into that page, go up to File and Place and find the Lego Logo JPEG. Now it should be in your Exercises folder for either 2.2 or 2.3. If for some reason you can't find it and it's not in there, you can go to the internet and do an image search for Lego Logo and you will find this exact image and you can download it and use it. And this is how we bring images into Illustrator. We file and place them. We don't actually open them because images or bitmaps inside of Illustrator aren't a format that we can edit using our pixels. So images in Illustrator are only ever brought in in their complete form. Now we can use them just the same way we can use sketches for our, our background image to create artwork over the top of. We can use um, photographs and type like this for instance to recreate images. Just leave one on the page and I'm going to go up to this downward facing little white arrow on the right hand side of the layers palette and choose template and this will convert the image or anything that was on this layer into a template layer. Now it locks it by default, I can unlock that if I want to, but what it actually does is it creates a level of transparency over that image and locks it for you automatically. So just leave it the way it is, you can double click on it and call it template so you can name your layers in Illustrator and it's always a good idea to do so. Now we're going to build up over the top of this template, recreate the lettering so I'm going to choose create new layer and I'm going to call it white logo. So with your zoom tool selected, zoom right into that word Lego with the hand, move that L onto the screen where you can see it. Now from the top on the left hand side here we can adjust our fill and our stroke. So I'm going to choose no fill, I'm going to leave my stroke as, actually I might change the color of that to something like red so I can see it more easily as I'm demonstrating and I'll change the width of it, I'll make it two points just so you can see quite clearly what I'm doing as I'm drawing. Now the next point to make is that you need to choose your pen tool before you start drawing this out. So I'm just going to show you very quickly how few points you need to create or recreate this lettering. And once you've done the exercises you will easily be able to go through this exact same process. So I've created that L already. I'm going to start on the E. Notice how few points I'm using. I'm just using those handles and dragging them out to create the shapes or to recreate the shapes. Moving over with the hand again using the space bar on the keyboard. Now I might start here for the G and most of these are curved so you don't really have to do too much hard work to create this. It's just a matter of pulling your handles out to the right extent to recreate the shape. Now if you feel like it's not perfect afterwards and you need to do some editing, choose your direct selection tool or A on the keyboard and go back in and move some of your points, adjust some of your handles, create this O in a very simple way. So I only really need four points to get around this counter area of the letter O and I actually didn't need to pull that handle out quite so far. And at the top here I'm going to pull out not too far, side I can pull out a bit further, the bottom don't pull out too far and on the side here 
because it's a longer shape and then really I'm just dragging carefully and I've recreated that. The next step is to create a compound path out of these two shapes. So we need to choose object, compound path and make because at the moment it doesn't have a fill. It's just sitting over the top of the template layer below it. But when we fill it with white, we have to have a hole in the middle. It won't have a hole in the middle unless we turn it into that compound path. So you can move it command Z or control Z to undo the move. Now we're going to take the outline off and choose a fill of white. What I'm going to get you guys to do next is to turn this whole shape into a compound path. Even though your counter areas and the areas outside them are a compound shape so that we can create a hole, the whole type itself once your counter areas are made is turned into a compound path and then it behaves as one complete unit and that's important for our next step which is offsetting the path so we can create this black shape in the background. So from here it is pretty easy. All we need to do go up to object down to path offset path and I've set my offset at 2.4 millimeters. I'm going to turn my preview on before I click OK just to make sure that distance matches the perimeter of that black area that I'm going for and then choose OK. So once that's done you can move that out of the way and you can collect and you can select your type so you can see that you've created both elements so I'm going to undo. I want this outside area to be black so in my swatches palette by default Illustrator sets up a whole range of default swatches and I'm going to choose black. What I'm going to do next is place this black outlined shape on its own layer so I'm going to copy it command C and then I'm going to delete it. I'm going to lock my white logo layer and I'm going to go down to the bottom of the layers panel and create a new layer and I'm going to command F to paste in front. Now if you want to paste something in the front exactly in the same coordinates that you've copied it from it's command or control F. If you want to paste an object in the background or in behind a layer it's command or control B and it will match the coordinates that it copied the object originally from. Now you can see that this black shape is over the top of the white one and it's obscuring the view of the white one so we can move this layer below the white logo just by dragging it and I'm going to double click on that layer and call it black outline. Now I'm going to use this black outline shape to generate the yellow outline around it in exactly the same way. Object path offset path and I'm going to preview it to see if that 2.4 millimeter offset is working. It is. I'm going to click OK. So that has now created another outline and edit copy and I'm going to delete it. Then I'm going to lock my black outline, create a new layer and I'm going to command and I'll choose command B this time which is paste behind but it does appear to be in front because I still haven't moved my layer so I'm going to go up to my swatches palette and I'm going to choose that default yellow from the swatches palette and then I'm going to name this one yellow outline and I'm going to lock it so now we've got these three elements created we're going to create a new layer again put it in behind the yellow outline so we've got the layers in the correct stacking order. I'm going to choose a red, a CMYK red from the default swatches palette and I'm going to draw my shape over the top of this one on the template to match it as closely as possible. The last thing we need to do is to create the registration icon and that's very easily done but first I'm going to choose the correct color which is black for the text and I'm going to introduce you to the type tool in Illustrator which is which lives underneath the pen tool and I'm going to you can just click for this example we can just click on the screen once and choose option and R and that will create that registered icon and then we can go up to the options panel at the top and increase the size of the text and select it with our selection tool and move it into position. 